My name is Jessica Schaub. I'm Métis. I'm from Northern Alberta. I'm a first year master's student studying jellyfish in the Pelagic Ecosystems Lab at UBC. Uh, I really like jellyfish, yeah. One of my favorite facts is that they, they don't have a brain, which most people know, but they do still have structures that act like eyes that can see light and tell what direction it's coming from. I just like to learn about things. Everything is interesting. <laughs> Science definitely helps me keep learning even as an adult and maybe even learn things that some people didn't know before that. So it's one of the most attractive things about science. <laughs> my biggest challenge was moving away from my family to come to school. The, the campus, UBC campus, has like 10 times the number of people that my hometown has. So it was a really big move when I came here the first time. My family drove me to Vancouver with all my stuff, and I think I remember standing in my room, and as soon as all the commotion was over, my family was like, all right, bye. <laughs> and then they left, and then I was just sitting in my room being like, okay, what have I done? <laughs> but uh, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I started classes, and right away you start meeting people in classes, and then in the Longhouse there was that community of other Indigenous students that I could connect with. I think... It's an important thing to remember is that you're not the only new student. Everyone around you is a new student as well, and they're all facing a lot of the same challenges you are. So <laughs> that helped a lot to remember that. I'm not alone. <laughs> I think mentorship is very important um, in that you don't have all the answers when you're young. So it's helpful to have somebody to talk to that's gone through it and maybe has some answers that you don't have. My bachelor's degree was in a combined honors in oceanography and biology. And so I also had to do a research project for that. And so my supervisor was my mentor. He was instrumental in pushing me to the next steps, like publishing my research. And I think that helped a lot in pushing me to do a master's degree as well. So if I were to go back in time and talk to young Jessica, I would tell her that um, it's important to say yes to all the opportunities that come your way. You never know where your next uh, big idea or big challenge or even big breakthrough is going to come from. I think I'd like to continue and get my PhD and maybe um, become a prof, like a professor, and um, continue jellyfish research. I like waking up and knowing that I'm part of a small like research community that's just pushing the bounds of what we know about them every day. <laughs> <laughs>